Hey, welcome to my Machinist Reality channel. And here's my reality dog, Chloe. What's up? <laughs> well, my latest reality is I dumped this little drawer of taps on the floor. But I got that uh, corner cleaned out and I'm going to slide the jig bore on over there. Hope you're all having a good morning, and as soon as I clean the taps up, I'm going to start on that move. Okay, back later. And what we have here is a 4,000 pound, 8 foot tall Moore jig bore. Old number 2 model with a narrow base. Now, I got it uh, pried up and I got it on flights. And uh, I want to point out that a jig bore is uh, uses three point suspension. So I have it here shimmed up to get it level, and then the two back spots. There's a, a, a cavity here with the bolt hole, but this is not a uh, locating. Um, when the, when the machine's in place, it'll have just that single front point and the two back points. And uh, it's easier to get the machine perfectly level, as perfect as you can with a master precision level. So I, I pried it up and I got the uh, plate here I had in a wedge that I was adjusting. The floor's kind of, I think it sunk a little bit. So I'm going to move the machine over here, but I got to pull it forward and I haven't cracked it loose yet. So let's, let's do that. And you can watch it crack loose. Maybe I'll move it back here and see. Yeah, okay. That should work. Okay, let's see if I can pop that loose. Now these machines are so top heavy, you got to be very, very careful. And uh, I just have it on these plates. And uh, I've, I've moved this a few times. And if it pops off just a half inch plate, this thing will start rocking. And <laughs> you don't want it to do that. So. If it falls over, I'm going to run for it. So I'm going to pull it forward from the wall. Of course, you can't get behind it. I got it, you know, the space is so tight, I had to put it, push it against the wall. And now I can't get bars behind it to move it out. It makes it tougher. Sometimes you have to, like, rotate it around if that's all you got. But got the chain come along. Let's see, let's see, it's been a lot of years sitting here, more than 10 years in that spot. Here it comes. You see it rocking? I let it settle down. Just give it a little bit at a time. Looking pretty good so far. See the floor so uneven. Gonna have a collision with my ball. It'll climb up there. There we go. I'm not gonna risk. Much. I'm going to stop right. You know, I, I hope you saw some of that. This camera shut off again for no reason whatsoever. 100% battery. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, you can see I pulled it out that far. And now I can actually get some small bars and do it by hand. But I'm going to pull it uh, just a little bit more forward. Then I'm going to use the Monarch here 
and pull it this way a little bit. Yeah, so we're getting close. And then it's going to go on that corner there. Now, the uh, axle sun is 100 inches long, and I've got it marked here. So that, that should slide, rotate pretty good back in there. And the way a jig bore is, uh, th the table's contained within the machine, at least the x-axis. Then the y-axis, you know, you just got that moving back and forth. So clearance isn't a real big issue there. Okay. Yeah, I hope that uh, camera was still rolling when that uh, jig bore uh, uh, broke loose. I'll, I'll shoot some more of it. It starts rocking. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is what's going in here. <laughs> I have to keep reminding myself. Got got this little jewel out here. Yep, good spot. You can see I have the uh, chain and going all the way to that uh, skid on the axelson, and I'm pulling it here. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll turn the camera back on when I uh, uh, pull it the other direction. Okay. Well, here I am in the afternoon, and it took me from this morning till uh, this afternoon several hours, but I do take breaks to uh, get that jig board moved there in the corner. And it, it's uh, quite a bit better than I thought it would be. I have to push the back over a little bit, the top's hitting the ceiling, but I got it up a little high too. Got just enough uh, room to operate the wheel here. Looking pretty good. Oh my goodness, I'll tell you what, that's, uh, that's quite a job. But it, it fits better than I thought. Now, I marked uh, where the axles and lathe's going to be. And this would be a good spot for it here, for the tail. I hope you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. And uh, it gives me enough room to get by and be able to push that real heavy tailstock forward. <laughs> That way is going to be a lot of fun. But I tell you what, if I was going to get a lathe to uh, make money on, it, it, it would actually be something like a Morisiki of about the same size. Uh, quite a bit faster to operate, less speeds and stuff. Let's go see what Chloe's up to. Okay, Chloe, what's going on? Uh, this safely outside here. Okay, we got some hubbub. What's the hubbub? What? What do you think? That's what I think. Hey, we're going to go get something to eat, and uh, I think I'll load this video. You have a good day, or a good evening. Bye-bye.